The European Central Bank kept interest rates at a record low at its policy meeting today, waiting to see how stimulus measures laid out over the summer unfold. To give his insight into the conference and the future of the Eurozone is Remy Bourgeau, Chief Economist at Asia Centre. Remy. It was revealed today that Ireland was bullied into taking a loan, possibly causing its financial crisis. Is this revelation likely to affect the bank now or in the future? Well, actually, it makes sense to, to combine ECB assistance uh, and uh, bail out programs from uh, the European Union. But the problem here is uh, the harsh conditions which are attached to, to these bail out programs. And especially uh, that was the case uh, for Ireland. So the, um, the practice of uh, forcing governments to ask for uh, EU help uh, in exchange for uh, ECB support is a problem because of the way uh, these austerity conditions are implemented and are imposed impo upon uh, national governments. And uh, what really sparked the, uh, the, uh, the financial crisis in Ireland is the way the, uh, the bank resolutions was handled at the time and uh, mainly the fact that uh, creditors were not involved at all, and that was part also of, uh, of uh, the ECB's policy towards Ireland. Um, so the, the, the real problem were, uh, that was really the, the policy that was implemented rather than uh, uh, creating uh, a link between uh, ECB assistance and uh, bailout programmes. Draghi said that the ECB is ready for more aggressive stimulus, if needs be. What can the European Central Bank do to stave off deflation? Uh, well, Mark Draghi has confirmed during his uh, press conference uh, that uh, uh, he, he'd like to expand the ECB's balance sheet back, back to where it was uh, back in March 2012. Uh, well, the, the problem basically right now is that police rates are uh, around zero. The zero lower bond has already been reached. Sovereign yields are extremely ne low. And when monetary policy can't really aim at lowering uh, interest rates any further, um, just increasing money supply uh, isn't really a game changer, uh, even if you uh, expand the, the, the ECB's balance sheet to buy 1 trillion euros, even uh, embarking on outright purchases of government bonds. Um, well, so currently, uh, beside the offers of four year loans to banks, um, the ECB plans to uh, implement more targeted purchases, uh, which are aimed at restarting lending to um, non-financial corporations. Uh, While well, the plan consists in buying covered bonds, but which are uh, in low supply, uh, it is also consists in buying asset-backed securities and even maybe corporate bonds if that is needed. Uh, but while well, the problem is that the EBS market is a very small market in the eurozone. Uh, so the scheme aims, aims at boosting this market by providing additional demand on the part of the ECB. Um, but obviously this won't be enough uh, because volumes are very low and this is mainly because of weak demand for credit on the part of pri private companies, um, even though this is beginning to stabilize somewhat at this moment. And demand for credit is especially from uh, SMEs, which face a gloomy economic environment and um, and they are also already struggling with a huge debt of of hang and not really willing to to take more debts. Um, so we actually find ourselves um, well after the um, the onset of the credit crunch. Um, so the issue is not that much about credit supply, uh, but more about demand for credit and um, simply demand at large. Um, so as a matter of fact, what the ECB is currently doing is uh, mainly consists in um, talking down the euro's exchange rate. Um, the, the euro's depreciation increases the price of imports, but this is not as efficient for the eurozone as it might be for a small open economy. Um, on the contrary, the eurozone is a large and an integrated economic zone, so the, the impact of depreciation on inflation um, as well on, uh, as on uh, inflation expectations can on, on, only be limited or very limited. Um, that said, it is true that it is very important to, to break anticipations of constant appreciation uh, of the euro, uh, notably because of the negative impact of uh, overappreciation on wage dynamics. And uh, depreciation alone is not able to stave off deflation. 
for such a big economy as the Eurozone, it's about domestic demand, European demand. And unfortunately, one feature of the um, austerity framework has consisted in pushing wages lower and lower again as a means to regain competitiveness. And this obviously came at the cost of final demand. And, uh, well, the, this whole strategy has uh, eventually proved uh, suicidal because it was implemented simultaneously in deficit countries. Was the EU right to put the ECB in charge of overseeing the commercial banks? Uh, well, it, it's, it's right. It's all right that the ECB and um, the EBA are taking charge, charge of stress tests and, um, and AQR rather than uh, national institutions which have um, different standards. Thank you for your time, Remy. Keep watching Degascoffee TV for more news on the European economy and the market as a whole. Goodbye.